Dr. Daryl Treffert has studied and written about savants, as they're called, for more than 40 years now. He features Stephen Wilcher's London Panorama on the cover of his upcoming book, Islands of Genius. And Dr. Treffert joins us now. Good morning. Good morning, Harry. We have seen the work of savants before. How rare is Stephen's gift? Well, savants are sort of at three levels. Uh, about one out of 10 autistic persons has some savant abilities. Uh, one level is what's called splinter skills, people who memorize sports trivia and so forth. Then there's a second level called talented savants, and these are people who have a more honed skill that's very conspicuous. And then there's a third level, which is called prodigious savants. And a prodigious savant is someone whose skill would be spectacular, even if it were to be seen in a non-disabled person, in which case we'd call it a genius. Uh, uh, certainly, uh, Stephen is, uh, ranks high in the prodigious savant category. There, uh, I've been doing this for 40 years now, and, and I estimate that there's fewer than 100 known living prodigious savants worldwide at the present time. And uh, Stephen is in that very uh, elite uh, group. One of the things that is so interesting about this is that his artistic ability and his family's sort of focus on that artistic ability and allowing it to come out actually then had a very uh, beneficial effect on the rest of his development. That's right. Well, what we see with savants is that the skill that they have is more than gee whiz, look at that. It really is their language. It's their way of uh, speaking and communicating to us. And as they develop, or, or what I call train the talent, uh, better language ability, uh, better social skills, and, and, a, and a move toward independence. And Stephen certainly represents that. He has his own gallery now uh, in London. And uh, a, a crucial part of the development of all of these savants is the family, uh, the, the cheerleaders, the, the people that uh, are not concerned about what might be um, a deficit, but hey, look what's there, and, and are excited about that, mm -hmm. and, and take it and run with it. And with that comes this uh, development. And Stephen is a prime example right. of, of someone who uh, shows that uh, progression. Wow. Dr. Trefford, thank you very much for taking the time to join us and helping illuminate uh, what we have been sort of amazed by all week long. You're Thanks very so welcome. Much. You bet. You can learn more about Stephen Wilcher's story on our website, earlyshow.cbsnews.com.